On Saturday afternoon, Rowan University and Widener University took part in the third installment of the Battle of the Bridge rivalry game. The first quarter was mostly a feeling out process for both squads, as neither were able to put any points on the board. The key play of the quarter came when the Pride were on third and goal at the Profs 5. Eddie Davis forced and then recovered a Pride fumble, stopping the scoring threat. The Pride struck first at 11.54 of the second as quarterback Seth Klein threw a 30-yard touchdown pass to Max Cutler to give Widener a 7-0 lead. Roan was unable to solve the Pride's defense in the first half, but they settled for a Tyler Knighton 41-yard field goal at 132 to get on the board. Pride kicker Ryan O'Hara answered with his own field goal, a 30-yarder, giving Widener a 10-3 lead at the break. The Pross received the ball to start the second half, and on their sixth play of the drive, Whitler Marcelin scurried 31 yards for a touchdown, tying the game at 10. After a pair of three and outs, Widener started a drive at their own 20 and marched down the field. On a fourth and goal at the one, Sebastian Lajoka stopped Klein at the goal line, forcing a turnover on downs. With momentum fully on their side, the Profs turned to Marcelin to produce some magic and the senior gladly entertained by busting off an 82-yard touchdown run, giving the Profs a 17-10 lead. Marceline ran for 164 yards on 27 carries and became the Profs' all-time leading rusher. The fourth quarter then turned into the Bobby Barberi show as a defensive back laid lumber on pride receivers. Then, at 11.33, he picked off Klein and returned at 22 yards for the score. Rowan would go on to win 24-10. Crofts quarterback Dante Pickney was 9 of 12 passing for 61 yards. Darren Dungy had 15 total tackles for the Rowan defense, 10 of the solo variety, and Josh Popper chipped in with 11 tackles of his own. The defense held the pride to just 75 yards rushing and gave up 339 total yards. The Profs offense rushed for 181 yards and had 242 total yards in the game. The Profs have a bye next week, but return to action September 19th at William Patterson University. Kickoff for the NJAC opener is slated for 1 p.m.